Great, so we're here at the Future Music Camp 2013 and uh, it's the third time Digital Music Trends covers the event, which is great. And I'm here with uh, Ryan Rauscher, who is a project manager at Smix Lab, who, uh, uh, which is a, a project that works within the Pop Academy uh, uh, here in Mannheim. So hi Ryan, and great to have you on, on the show. How's it going? Um, yeah, good. And I actually feel like having two days of, of conference. Uh, um, which we did, um, yeah. but I feel uh, good and it was um, a great weekend yeah. and um, yeah, thanks for having me again on, on the show. Uh, and then the, the same the same back to you and uh, so uh, talking about how the event has is, is, is changed, uh, I think it's an interesting place to be uh, you know, in a university that deals with uh, a lot of students because of course you, you can be on the cutting edge of what's happening because you see what your students are doing and that's like a pretty good indicator of what, what the latest trends are. So, uh, so how much of uh, of what what you organize comes from the students in the sense that it's trends that you go oh, okay I didn't realize this was happening and how much do you bring to your students uh, in terms of introducing them to new services that they that they might want to use? Yeah, well, actually, that is one th one thing that has changed. Um, we started last year to um, you know try to um, uh, relate or correlate more um, the what happens here at the Future Music Camp with uh, what students are writing in their theses. Um, uh, so um, they, for example, they can uh, or they have to make session um, submissions and, and introduce sessions and host sessions at the Future Music Camp. Um, and um, then they use that to uh, write their um, papers on it. Great. Um, and of course, we always are looking for, for um, you know, company startups questions that people discuss here and we try to you know, forward that to students and see if um, that's interesting for them and they can uh, you know, and do that, you know, more scientifically, maybe, yeah. and then, um, if it works out, bring it back uh, the next year to the camp. Yeah, sure. And uh, I remember, you know, was it like three or four, three years ago? four years ago that we uh, the first time I was here and uh, Simfi was presenting of course yeah. and yesterday we had a very uh, you know a flashy presentation on, on the latest uh, stuff on Spotify with some stats uh, as well from uh, Willem uh, Tal the band here in, here in Germany and so you know what is your feeling about uh, the adoption of Spotify here here in Germany and also amongst your students for example um, it's quite a lot um, um Spotify is um, is uh, doing very well in, in Germany. A lot of people are using it, and, and um, I see it in our studies. I do courses here at the Pop Academy as well, uh, and um, I can't say really in a percentage, but um, sure. in the more digital um, topics and courses, there are like um, I would say 40% already using it, and um, I would guess almost everybody knows about Spotify and what it is. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. And uh, so looking at the program for this year, uh, there were uh, you know, a few interesting uh, startups, uh, some established companies like, for example, SoundCloud presented. And uh, uh, in terms of innovation here in Germany, uh, how, how do you feel about, for example, students getting into the business of producing new technology and do you, f do you find a lot of ideas come from students when they have, for example, to submit business plans or anything for the, for the coursework? Yeah, um, that I think um, interesting in that uh, respect is that we are educating people that are um, uh, sit between the traditional music industry and the um, technological sector. So um, um, we do have some student teams that are, um, you know, working on startups and business plans. Um, and, but right now we're trying to connect them more to um, computer science uh, students to. Uh, you know, business economics students, and try to you know have teams with people from from different fields, because I think then it's um, you know more likely that it, um, something might work out. So we're doing projects um, together with uh, other other universities or uh, research uh, institutions um, to try to make that connection and, and support our students in that way. Yeah, sure. And of course, if there's any educational institutions, I know I've, I've reached out to quite a few uh, that are suggesting the show to the, to their students. So if anybody's listening, that is interested in collaborating with the Pop Academy, I'm sure that you can you can find out more on, on the on the Pop Academy website. I'll, I'll drop a link in the show notes, of course, and and find find out more more about what they do. And so, uh, you know, drawing a balance, uh, how, how do you feel uh, the event went this year? And uh, in, in terms of comparing it to to the to the last years, do you feel that there was a difference in in the the types of questions that were being asked also also during the, the sessions and and the focus maybe of, of the students on, on certain topics uh, other than others um, well um, first of all for, for the uh, event overall um, I'm I was satisfied to see, to see what happened this year we had 25% more registrations and, and wow. people come Great. here um, and 
I think, or I actually have to say, I, I wasn't in uh, a lot of sessions because I had some things uh, to do. Of course, yeah. But I believe, um, you know, we're um, talking to students, trying to bring them to, to ask specific questions, you know. That's true, yeah. Uh, and not so much, you know, what is really, what is happening to copyright, how can it be modernized, but really to go um, into detail and to try to focus on, 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 you know, one or two questions and trying to solve that and write a paper about that. Because I think that's, um, that's better than um, trying to, to, to solve, you know, the really big problems. Yeah, or big right. Because you, you can talk for hours about copyright at large, but if you focus on specific aspects of copyright or, you know, the, I see a session here like talking about the relevancy of charts and, uh, you know, something about just specifically WordPress and something about yes, the... that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. That's, uh, that's uh, a quite good example. We have some someone here uh, right now, I think, uh, talking about uh, WordPress for musicians and uh, he has um, services for that and technology and um, so he's talking to students, you know, what, what do they want, um, how do they like what he's doing right now. So really, you know, down to earth discussions, what you can, well, what people and our participants can use, you know, from from tomorrow on. Yeah, great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. And uh, uh, you can find all the interviews that are recorded here at Future Music Camp uh, on uh, digitalmusictrans.com. And if you're watching the, sh the long version of the show, you're probably going to be able to see them uh, just after or just before this interview. So thanks so much, Ryan, for, for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's great to have you here for the third time, I, yeah. I think. And, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, the event is mostly in German, but we try to do as much as English. And um, everybody is invited in to, to come over and to um, talk about cooperation or um, present the company technologies and stuff so thank you very much great awesome thank you <laughs>